Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out QuerioBot. I know many of you people have been thinking hey is it hard to build a chatbot and connect it to Facebook? I mean do I need skills? Do I need to know, do you need to know coding or something like that? Well basically not with QuerioBot. So what we're going to do is use a template for this video demonstration and we're going to connect it to Facebook. So it's going to be super easy for you. We're going to do the bot and we're going to connect it to Facebook. Two steps. So what we're going to do is head on over to our dashboard right here and what I'm gonna do is create a brand new bot so here on the top is a green button that says new and on the left we can name our bot in this case I'm gonna name this one test 2 and what you have right here to start off are templates QueryBot have already built pre-made templates that's gonna help you start off really right away so what you got is welcome template help your customers lead retrieval sign up for MailChimp QueryBot a feedback feed back bot so it just depends what you're going to use it for but for the purpose of this video we're going to select welcome bot if you want to preview how it works you can just click right here so we're going to hit next again and you, you can see right here that's already pre-made i mean you can just customize it to your liking to your business so where it says right here hey my name is Curio Bot. well we don't want it to say that so let's just say this is sas master my name is sas master this is okay. Um, yes, I'll customize it a little bit, make it more friendlier. It's like hell yeah. Just change that up, and you can see it's a pretty easy to do. It's a drag and drop builder. We can just move these around, up or down, just depending on how you want to work the flow of this bot. Change the buttons, create buttons, and if you think the flow is is hard this way, you can also customize it this way on the bottom. You can see flow diagram. So you can see it switched it up. We can zoom on it and you can change the flow on this one. If this works better for you, if you feel more comfortable this way, you can switch it that way. Okay guys, so like I said, next thing we're gonna do, you can do this customization with uh, Calm, with time, no problem. But let's go ahead over and connect it to a Facebook page. So we head on over to the channel right here and we can leave that name. And you can see we don't have any options to add Facebook. Don't be worried, all we gotta do is head over and save now the reason we're doing this is just say for example we don't want to connect this to a landing page we just want to connect it to Facebook so this is the way you would do it you can see now we have instant messenger so we're gonna click on that one and it's not connected to any channel so we're gonna connect a brand new channel you can see Facebook we hit next and Facebook should ask for our permission you can see that right there continue and which uh, fan page do we want to add so I'm gonna select this one just for the purpose of this demonstration say yes so now it's giving it permission to link to our fan page so QueryOBot has access to it and we can do a little bit more customization right here like I said do this with time with no problem fanfoot page we just select fanfoot page there we go unbox save it all right so now it's updated. So now we gotta do is check out the bot. So let's open the fan page. Unbox world. Let's go head over there. And I should be administrator to this page. Yeah, I'm an administrator to this page. So what I'm gonna do is test button. This is a test button option. And this would give you a test of what the client would expect. So let's just say it's a client, a fan, or whatever you want. It's going to start right off like this. In my case, it's in Spanish, but in your case, if you're, it's going to be your language. So let's just hit start. And there you go, the bot is working. Remember, we got the welcome message. We got my name is SAS Master. Do you want to have a chat? I should say. We got the button right here. Hell yeah. Go, oh, hell yeah, it's going next. Great, me too. And it's just gonna do the flow that's in your chatbot. So all you have to do right now is go and customize it even more. Let's just go edit our bot and customize it. Hey, you feel the message was too friendly, so let's change it. Or people get offended, well, let's just change it a little bit. Let's remove the hell, you know? It's like, yeah, only. Or you wanna add more conversations, add a new response. And this is the way you would go further and further and you start customizing the the reason of this video is to show you guys that you can just open your account if you can have the you want to upgrade or you want to use a free version and it's super easy to get started to connect your fanbook page so there you go 
just head on over and start testing out bot settings, connections, and all that kind of good stuff. And be in the lookout because there's going to be more tutorials on how to integrate it on WordPress sites, how to be, how to do more advanced things. So you can start off like this and start doing the more advanced things for you. Well, all right, guys. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. Thanks for watching.